I just want to set this so I can bevel that, see? Don't don't show it on me because we don't need me. The book the boat is what's in come on. The boat is what's you know, I don't like this. Show me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing. I'm setting the bevel so I can bevel my frames on the bottom, on the side, and on the bilges. Alright. This will get beveled to here, here, and here to fit the shape of the boat. She borrowed the book from Chocolate to Morphine. Oh, is that the name of the book? Yeah, the telephone's yeah. ringing. Pardon? The telephone's the telephone. ringing. So? So? You're going to point out the pieces. Yeah. Yes, the first thing we glued on and nail on permanently is the transom. Right there in the back of the boat. Why don't you go touch it? Touch the transom. That's the transom. Yes, indeed. Now we're lining up and we're going to nail and glue the stem okay, which is up the front right that's the stem, yes we're just fitting it and we're going to glue it and nail it Prototype. Mine will probably go a little heavier. I made my ribs heavier. They call for a quarter of an inch. I made them a half an inch. About a hundred. Hey, the turtle man. This side still looks...
So what were you doing there? I was uh, marking the center line on the stem. So I can line it up with the center line mark that's on the bottom. Oh. This is the epoxy glue. Spread on generously. Sunny boy. Good sailing weather. Huh? There was a sailboat out this morning. Yeah. Nice and windy. Well, White Caps. Fletch says when he comes home from work, maybe uh, he should be coming home soon, I guess. the pieces together with nails bronze ring nails and epoxy glue but I have to clamp it in place first make sure it's aligned up get a close-up of the kind of nails we're using today with the rings in it. It's a silicon bronze ring nail. That's what we're using to fasten the boat with. I've got the resin in here already. One to one. That's epoxy. Epoxy glue. Now we mix it up. Can you turn it this way so I can take a look here? Yeah. Mmm. Scrumptious. Oh, I feel like the Fubu Gourmet. Yeah. Guarantee. Mmm. Mmm. Now the same process in the back, you're doing in the back as you did in the front. Yes, epoxy and the ring nails. And then you will fit the bilge strakes or the bilge the boat building music background here. What do you call the bottom piece? This is the bottom piece. Oh, the bottom piece. Yes. Nailed to the transom, nailed to the stem. The two side, top side panels are nailed to the transom and to the stem. And glued. Now we're going to proceed to fit, no, frame A and then to build straight.
Oh, you do that well. Oh, yes. I got many years' experience. Is that like twiddling thumbs? Oh, yes, I can do that well, too. One-handed. instructions now. Okay. When in doubt, read the instructions. And when all else fails, I haven't failed yet. Nope. <laughs> because He's I think he likes to be down here building boats. I think so too. Who's that? You. What? Oh, I want to get out of here. I've been in a dungeon. Did he tell you he lost his blade? I'm only building his Lost what? I don't know how you got me into this. To the... What was it called, Chad? The planer? I think it was a planer. You know? No. He walked... No, he walked... It. When you told me not to pick the things out of the bucket, and I insisted I went along with it. Wait a minute. I He, he let me empty it halfway, and then he walked right... I saw well, he him walk right out. a witch stove just before that. Now what are you doing now? Clamp it in temporarily to see where I have to adjust the panels a little by planing or, or whatever. And then fiberglass tape. I went by his dimensions. It was Boston over, over Charlotte, 120 to 110. Now I'm tight in here and here. I'm going to have to plane a little bit to make it fit. The rest is all right. Record low temperatures overnight. Record low temperatures overnight. Okay. Right there. Tomorrow will be some 20-piece band and... Uh, they used uh, arrangers, uh, Pete Rugolo, Shorty Rogers, Bill Holman, and Marty Sanders. Covered the period from about 1946 to 1970. Pete Bilge! Singer Chris Conner came from New York and sang all about Ronnie. Altruist Lee Connors, Good Lover Man, and uh, other uh, great talent I like uh, guitarist Lorendo Almeida. Boy, I'll tell you, Bob Cooper was there. He played. Must have been nice. Oh, uh, Kit was a grand guy. Oh, you don't want to see this. It was always a pleasure and a happening whenever he visited us here on the 950 Club. So what do we do? We open this hour playing Skitch Henderson. <laughs> Doesn't it fit down the other end? No, it'll fit. It's a little discrepancy there. You'll make it fit. Fiberglass, you won't see it. 
Well, what happened? I guess I had the angle running the wrong way. Ball. Have the angle ru running the wrong way, but you can correct that problem. I can correct the problem, Bob. <laughs> Here's Bob. Temporarily nailing it in place. Temporarily. Just temporarily. Back there, it'll correct it. What are you going to do? Push it back? Yeah, because this sticks out and this this will compensate for the difference in the angle there. Boy, but what a big gap here, too. Epoxy. Oh, yeah, of course, but I don't understand. You know, one side lays good. They're the same dimensions. As far as I know. No oh, well. Let's see. I, I can go back. back about a quarter of an inch. I'm using epoxy so I have to let it set overnight. But epoxy is stronger and it gives yes. more. It's flexible too. Yeah. See what that looks like up front. Right. Oh well. I can't do anything with it tonight. I can't stand it. Well, make a running comment. Right there. Make it for him. Say something. How long will the epoxy take to set? Oh, probably till tomorrow. It's too cool down here. So just a little tacky in here. A real wide seam to screw. Down here is all right. I could dry it. I could pull the stitching out. What's stitching? This stitching. If my patient is stitched together, you see. This is wire stitching to bring the panels together. The panels that don't fit quite well. You wire them together, then you put your epoxy in. When it sets, you pull the wire out. And the seams will be covered with fiberglass tape. Like this. Then that will be all filled in with fiberglass. You'll put epoxy, like epoxy on it? On it. Yes, it will be epoxy on every seam. Inside and outside. You'll do the outside first, right? Outside first, and then we cover the whole boat with sheets of fiberglass and, and epoxy. And then you'll sand that all down? Sand it all down. And then we run it, flip it over and run the tape on the inside. Two layers of tape, fiberglass tape and epoxy. How did you keep the epoxy that is in between the pieces of wood from going through to the other side? I run masking tape underneath on all the seams. Taped all the seams up. Keep it from running through. Now that's the masking tape that you put on the inside. That's correct. That's correct. This morning this stuff was really sticky. It's set up quite a bit more now. I guess tomorrow will be ready for sanding. Once it's in there, you don't tape over that, do you? No, no. no you know, untwist them. And pull them out with pliers. And if it don't come out, you heat up the wire. If the epoxy is holding it and it'll melt around the wire, then you pull it out. <laughs> Got a good sound of it. And what are you going to put on the bottom here? Two runners? Well, it don't call for any, but I may put them on. Yes, two strips. When I run it up on the beach, protect the bottom. Two 
two deck pieces. They'll be cut out and put together and they'll fit inside as the front seat. And then I'll cut other parts out, whatever can fit on there. And if I have to, I'll buy that sheet off of Genie and I'll cut other parts out because I don't have enough wood. You don't have enough wood for, for all, all of your pieces? All my parts that I need, all the extra little parts for the rudder and the center board. Of course, I have to double them up for a half inch thick. Have you decided on which sail plan no, you're going to? I'm kind of leaning to a leg of mutton. Leg of mutton, yeah? Yes. Yeah, kind of leaning. Gives you more space. Yes. To maneuver. And if I make leg of mutton, I'll make the mast the same diameter as Jim's at the bottom so we can switch and try it out on his boat. The mast will fit his boat or my boat. And that's I'll just, you know, lay this on and see what this will look like. I can go away from here and lay a strip, a little thicker of course, right there. And put one down the other side. Now you're going to get a skeg here anyway, like a little fin up to here, which will protect the back. The wire is nasty. Oh, you have four legs ready to take off. <laughs> Walk away. Yeah. Oh, come on down. I'm not coming down. Chester Stanton, you're the next contestant on the boaters, right? Oh, really? Really? Oh, Jesus! Come on, take pictures of the boat. Come on, go! Take pictures on the inside of the boat. Did you take pictures on the inside? The boat is now covered with fiberglass. First, Dad covered the seams, sanded them, and then fiberglass the whole hull. Ho, 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 ho. So the next step here would be to what, sand it down? Next step on the bottom would be to sand it down. Yes. And prime it? And paint it, yes. And then paint it. Very good. It's the inside with some of the ribs reinforced with fiberglass. All of the ribs, that's all that's going to be on there. They're all in. Let's take a close up of these ribs. Now ready to be, the joints got to be taped, the long joints. The these joints, and the, and the deck put in up front. yeah, there's going to be a deck in the front here. These seams, the joints right here have to be fiberglass taped up. Well, they have a fiberglass resin in them now. They? they have the resin just to fill them in. Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. That is correct. And then there's going to be fiberglass and resin on top of that. Right here, these were, Dad cut these out, these little knees here in the corner. Yeah. They were in there. They're called limbers. Yeah, that's it, limbers. Dad cut them out so the water can run through and you know, freedom of movement. <laughs> You know, the ribs are fiberglassed with glove it. Uh -huh. Yep. Chris. And the stem. I'm going to point out where the uh, the deck's going to be again, and the mass partner. And the deck. The deck will be below the line of the the top. Yeah, it'll be down here. Uh -huh. Actually, it'll be like a sort of a seat. Yeah, it'll be like a seat. 
And this stem is laminated quarter inch plywood. Laminated Kleenex. Eight layers. Eight layers. In layers. Eight. Eight. Eight layers. With resourcenol. Resourcenol glue. Resourcenol. Black glue. Lights out. This will be cut out for the mask. Uh -huh. That will be all glued together, screwed on and glued. Next comes this mask partner. So that's the partner. That's the partner, partner. What's a partner, partner? These are the floorboards you're working on, or no? Yes. All right. I have them. The stringers. Did you have those cut out already? Those for the yes. ribs? Yes, I did. They were all cut out already. Then the floorboard goes on like this. Uh huh. So that's what it looks like. Which I'm fitting right now. I have a little bit to take off of in here uh -huh. to make this thing flat. Still got a little hollow here, just touching here and here. Okay. Shaping up. Your seams are all done now, right? Seams are done. All fiberglass. Next step will be to make the centerboard case down here. Just goes down in here. Right in here. This will come up here. That'll be your next shot. Right. You want to get the, everything all fitted, then I will epoxy and screw everything all together. Uh -huh. so next, I've got to concentrate on center board box. Also, I'm just about out of glove. It's too good. But I'll tell you, I was floating. You're kind of high there. Yeah, pretty. Huh? And that's what you'll rest your mask on. Yeah, the mask will come right through here. That's my mask partner. Much bigger than that, though. A little bit bigger, yes. Unless it's a real, like a hurricane, that would be about a hurricane sized mask with a handkerchief. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> Tell me more, Tyrone. <laughs> Are you going to cut the box down? I may just do like he does. Make it his size, let the thing stick up. Make a cap for it that I can snap onto it somehow. You know, underway, if it's rough. Yeah. I'm sure that must be the reason you don't have it sticking up. If he's talking far chopper, you want anything to protrude, protrude past the boat, right? Makes sense. See, he doesn't explain that in here. 
Alright, you can turn it off. Actual line, even with the top of the boat. This represents the thickness of a piece of mahogany I use to cap it off. If I cut it to here, cut the rudder, cut the centerboard off too, and this will be the shape of the centerboard. What do you think? That little, I don't think I'll... See, you make one change, it affects everything else. What do you do? How do you get it down from here? It's a problem. Let's just, we've got a knot tied on it, comes down to the knot, and that's it. I put it together with Sandy here last night, then we went over to see Maggie, and Mama went out with Diane shopping. I sat there watching her. Discovery. For trunk. Centerboard trunk? Yes. Centerboard. And the centerboard will stick up from the through the top? When it's retracted. When it's retracted, huh? So you're going to make a cover for it? Yeah, if you need it in rough water water to keep the water out. What's your next step? My next step is to screw and glue this in place, put sealer on under here, glue and screw all well these parts in, put sealer, and then paint all under here, then fiberglass this in place. And you're going to do that this weekend? Yes. My shoe. <laughs> Okay, that's the bottom. You had the stops yeah. there. This is made longer, so it extends down through here. It's going to be glued with epoxy and screwed up from the bottom. And then it'll be fiberglass from the bottom up in the slot and up into here. It'll be screwed this way, this way, and this way to make it secure. No, it's not Senor, it's epoxy. Epoxy, and what are you doing? You're gluing the... I'm gluing the centerboard trunk together. Together. Yeah, we arrived at the right moment. What a coincidence, huh? Oh, yeah. Television darkness. Yeah, you're just sealing the inside so the water doesn't rot the wood. But it looks good. Getting better. This is the uh, two fingernails. Yeah, this is the pin that the centerboard is going to ride on. And that's going to be permanently placed in the centerboard trunk. Uh huh. Like, okay, let's see. Now this goes like like this. Okay, now, now we get the plan.
Could you look underneath to see if I'm in right before I shove it? Okay. Straight on? And up a little bit. Up one. Yeah, just slide it up. Yeah. Up, up, up more, up more, up more. Okay, push. Push the back. Push your left hand side up a little bit. Yeah. Feel it? Feel it go ahead? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Tight? Yeah. Okay, now when you come here and hold it, I'll get out and put the screws in. Captain? Yes, Looks good. Yes, yes. I was just supposed to be good. Is that on snug now? Is it snug as I can get on it, you might. Well, 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 how come you have two rails on? It's easier to put on than one rail. It's going to be glued on and it'll, in effect, it'll be like one rail, but it's easier to bend. It's too thick. You'll have, you'll have two on or you'll put that other one on the other side? No, I'll put two on each side. Oh, really? That was really amazing, isn't it? Yes. I'll walk in and take a picture of my breast book. Oh, <laughs> That's nice. What kind of wood is that? White oak. You'll just varnish that. I will varnish that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of an old tabletop that was in my father's cellar and in his garage and in Jeannie's shed. Here's the centerboard box. A little bit of history there. Oh, yes, the centerboard box. And this is uh, a quarter inch plywood yeah, that's with mahogany finish. I'm stymied. I can't put these on because I need to mention they have screws. I don't have any. Corner bracket. A corner bracket? Yes, it's a corner bracket. White oak? And you'll screw that in? Yes. I will. And one for the other side? Yes. Like this. Uh huh. Oh, yeah.
Uh, I see the two breast hooks in the middle there. Yeah. These are quarter brackets. Yeah. 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 You can hand screw this one. How will you do that? Before I put the rub rail. Uh, before the rail? Or? Yes. I want to put the rail so I can take it off at any time. Now I'm going to have to screw the rub rail through here. Just so you can replace it if need be? Yeah. Right. If needs be. Yeah. 